stream here we are today we're going to do another episode of all japan pro wrestling today's matchup from july 15th 1978 today's date exactly or tomorrow's date i should say almost exactly so many years ago being it's july 14th 2022 we're gonna get straight into it we got abdullah the butcher and terry funk without any delays let's get to it <laughs> Making his way to the ring. That is the wild Texan from Amarillo, Texas. That is the one, the only Terry Funk. Ladies and gentlemen, way to the ring. Of course, part of the prestigious Funk family. Adula. Already pulling the fork from his trunks. Already pulling the fork from his trunks. He is absolutely going berserk on these these photographers, the young boys. There's a young Terry Funk. You could see the scars in Abdullah, the butcher's head. Both these competitors, WWE Hall of Famers, wrestling here in All Japan Pro Wrestling in 1978. You can see Abdullah wants nothing to do with the ceremonial flower presentation as per tradition here in Japan, in All Japan Pro Wrestling. This is the main event of the evening of the episode of All Japan TV from July 15th, 1978. Two legends about to go head to head, and I expect total pandemonium to break loose. It's going to be hard for this official to contain these two competitors here in this ring and keep it orderly while this match is going on. It may be the impossible job. He may have been tasked with the impossible job here tonight. As you can see, Terry Funk from Amarillo, Texas, 31 years old. Of course, checking Abdullah's boots, checking his for foreign objects. I think he should do a more more thorough search on Abdullah, as Abdullah has been known to hide forks, spikes, whatever you name it. He got it in them pants, and he know. And those boots got to be loaded. Terry Funk trying to use his speed and quickness. Of course, Abdullah got the size advantage here, weighing Funk by at least a hundred pounds. Funk circling around, trying to keep his feet, trying not to stay still. Tie up, elbow collar tie up. Funk works Abdullah into the corner. Big chop, big chop across the chest. And Abdullah, he knows what's up. That was a shoot chop, and he's coming now. Abdullah, with less tape than we're used to seeing him on his hands. Usually his hands are taped up like two casts. Oh, and he is going at him using that Mongolian thrust. Big headbutt. Of course, Abdullah's thick, calloused head from all the scar tissue there. Busting Terry Funk up as he gives him a boot, puts him inside headlock. Oh, and he's starting to just plow into him with those right hands. Those right hands could be busting Funk open right on that forehead those shots will split that skin that skin is very thin on the forehead Terry Funk has to be wary the referee will stop the match tie up and this time Abdullah pushes pushes Terry Funk into the corner Abdul, Abdullah Irish whip into the ropes oh and a thrust to the throat here he comes with that big elbow Terry Funk Looks like Abdullah got a piece of that, not all of it. As Funk was able to move out of the way, hits Abdullah with a headbutt and a left hand or right hand. Terry Funk using his footwork, he got Abdullah grounded. He cannot let up. He has to continue the pressure on Abdullah. He cannot let the bigger man regain his base. It looks like Terry Funk's pulling a, a playbook out of Sugar Ray Leonard's book here. Dancing around and hitting him with them jabs. Big chop against the ropes. Irish whip. Reversal here by Abdullah. Big shoulder block. Abdullah is too big for Terry Funk to manhandle like he is used to doing with so many other opponents. This Abdullah the Butcher is a different creature. 
Big shoulder block, Terry Funk going into Abdullah the Butcher hard here. Abdullah the Butcher still looks fresh here in this match as Terry Funk trying to run circles around him into the ropes. Through the ropes, Abdullah the Butcher puts Terry Funk through the middle rope, almost getting himself disqualified with an over the top rope throw. Of course, that's illegal here in uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling. Oh, it looks like Abdullah got something in his hand. Oh, he has something. He has something. He has a fork, a spike. See the referee, I said at the beginning of this match, I don't think the referee had checked Abdullah the Butcher well enough because Abdullah the Butcher is an absolute madman from Sudan. So you have to check that man. He has so many crevices to hide weapons and tools in. What's he got? He's still got it in his hand. He got that fork. Oh, and he is just raking it. He is giving Terry Funk a new hairstyle, the old scout treatment there. With that fork, the official asking, asking his bald brother and what's going on. You could see the scar tissue on Abdullah's forehead even 50 years ago here. Permeating from his forehead. Oh, as he slams Terry Funk in that steel pole. Funk is in trouble. Funk has to be busted open here. Abdullah the Butcher hit him with that fork, slammed him in that steel turnbuckle. Been working on that forehead, on that thin skin that bleeds so much. Into the steel post again. Terry Funk is in a world of trouble. The referee's trying to get some sort of order here in the match as Terry Funk crawls his way back in the ring with Abdullah in hot pursuit. Abdullah tucking that fork, or he's pulling it out of his tights again. He got it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Abdullah the Butcher absolutely raking him, raking him up. The referee reprimanding Abdullah Abdullah saying he has done nothing wrong here. Of course the fans can see. I can see. The only person in the whole building that can't see seems to be the referee as Terry Funk is on the ground thriving in pain after suffering several vicious fork shots to the head. Absolutely unbelievable as Abdullah the Butcher looks on. He has no idea what that referee is even. Does he even speak English? I mean, you probably have to communicate with him in Sudanese. He is the madman from Sudan, after all. Terry Funk is in a world of hurt, and Abdullah the Butcher is not relenting. He gave Terry a little bit. Oh, and he has that fork, and he's putting it straight into the pectoral and trapezius in the deltoid muscle. Absolutely putting that fork in there, that foreign object. The referee checking on Terry Funk, seeing if he is able to continue. Referee not doing anything. He has not seen any of these foreign object shots. As Abdullah the Butcher throws Terry Funk outside the ring once again. Terry Funk patented Terry Funk chair throw into the ring from 1978. And he goes into announce table or timekeeper's table there at the side of the ring. Terry Funk as Abdullah the Butcher just drives him in the head. The people are throwing trash in the ring. There's all sorts of garbage in the ring. There's Sapporos. They're throwing their sakis. The crowd's getting out of control here. This is absolute anarchy as Abdullah the Butcher giving a beat down here. An absolute beat down to Terry Funk. Oh, and he hits him with that fork again. In fall, one, two. Funk able to get a shoulder up at the count of two here. The count of two, he's able to get his shoulder up. Terry Funk is absolutely busted wide open. The whole left side of his head is an absolute crimson mask. Oh my goodness, big elbow drop. Referee out of position, counting the call, cover. Two count, Terry Funk's able to kick out to the roar of the fans. These Japanese fans appreciate the perseverance and resiliency Terry Funk is showing here. The tough man from 
from Amarillo, Texas, the old funker himself. He's not an old funker here. He's a young funker against the young Abdullah the Butcher. Both men in their prime. Both men WWE Hall of Famers. And both men. Oh, as Terry Funk throws that chair at Abdullah. Abdullah is in hot pursuit once again. Hitting him with a big right hand. Terry flops into that ring. The referee trying to get some sort of order. I don't think, like I said at the beginning of this match, I don't think this is going to be easy job for this referee. Both these gentlemen known to take liberties with the rules as Abdullah lays down another big elbow. Pinfall, two count. Terry Funk able to get his shoulder up off the mat. Absolutely unbelievable action. Non-stop action. Terry Funk posing for those the, the magazines you could see oh that's going to be a good cover as you could see the fork in Terry Funk's head the referee didn't see it it looks like he's just gouging at his, his Abdul is able to get away with that inconspicuous you see the referee trying to get in between and see what's in Abdul's hand trying to check on Terry Funk make sure he is able to continue in this match as he looks like he's getting woozy from blood loss it looks like he has lost enough blood he is starting to lose the blood to his brain it is working much like a chokehold here as terry funk is bleeding like a stuck pig another headbutt to that open wound and terry funk has the blood in his eyes blood in his mouth blood in his nose it's got to be hard to breathe it's got to be hard to see as abdullah the butcher is continually putting on pressure terry funk wobbling into the ropes abdullah the butcher more right hands terry funk trying to fight back with his last reserves of strength Terry Funk staggers back to the center of the rink as if to call Abdullah the Butcher on and Abdullah Butcher obliges as Terry Funk continues to use his footwork. This is exactly what Terry needs. As you can hear, this Japanese crowd is absolutely going wild. They're getting behind their man Terry Funk here as he is giving the right jabs to Abdullah the Butcher in that southpaw position. Big left hand to the solar plexus. Absolutely devastating. The xiphoid process, that will knock the wind out of you for seconds. He has broken the base of Abdullah the Butcher, and it looks like momentum is turning in the favor of Terry Funk, who has been battered and beaten and bloodied through the duration of this match, as he's landing these left hands at will. Abdullah the Butcher can do nothing but sit there and eat him. He looks like a beat down version of Jabba the Hutt. As Terry Funk throws Abdullah through the ropes and they are taking this match back to the outside. The referee is doing everything he can to get these gentlemen to do the duration of this match in the squared circle but it has gone everywhere but it's been on the floor it's been in the tables both men have had their head rammed off the post as you see Terry Funk returning the favor to Abdullah the Butcher putting his head into the post that very well could have busted Abdullah the Butcher open as he has all that scar tissue and a big steel chair shot there by Terry Funk Terry Funk throwing the rule book right out the window as Abdullah the Butcher staggers back into the crowd. They got photographers, we got ring boys everywhere just scattering. We have fans. This they better get out of the way because this is dangerous. Somebody could get hurt. We could have a lawsuit here as Terry Funk drives the lip the lip of that chair right into the abdominal or the, the gut. I, I wouldn't know I don't know if there's an abdominal under there's gotta be, but there's lots of fat to protect him as he takes two big chair shots to the to the midsection. Terry Funk in there, and you could see he's got, oh, and he is gripping that, oh, he's gouging that wound open. You could see, yes, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, that turnbuckle did, in fact, cut Abdullah the Butcher open, and you could see Terry Funk is trying to pry it open like a, like a clam, like a, like a change purse. He is just trying to rip the blood out. It is absolutely disgusting. This match is absolutely getting out of control. The referee may have to stop this at any minute. As you can see, Terry Funk now returning the favor to Abdullah as Abdullah the Butcher is a bleeding mess. Both men battered. Both men bloodied. As you can see, Terry Funk hitting him with those left hands. Coming all the way from Amarillo, Texas. Abdullah reaching in those tights again, the referee, oh, and he stabs him in the stomach with that object again. 
Hiding it con inconspicuously from the referee. The referee none the wiser as Abdullah and Terry Funk make their way back outside the ring. Inside, outside, inside, outside as Terry Funk is wrapped up in steel chairs using garbage on the floor of the arena here in Japan. You can see everyone trying to get their lens in the right focus here. It is absolute anarchy here in Japan. All Japan Pro Wrestling presenting Terry Funk versus Abdullah the Butcher. They are fighting seven rows deep in the crowd. It is July 15th, 1978 when this was aired here. We are doing 30 or 44 year anniversary. As this match will be 44 years old tomorrow. I, I hear a bell, is that the time limit? Oh, and you can see Terry Funk has that object. He's finally got that object from Abdullah the Butcher and he repays the favor. The referee sees the, the blatant attack. There was nothing inconspicuous about Terry Funk's attack as he attacked Abdullah the Butcher. People are throwing stuff into the ring, very unlike the Japanese crowd to throw things in the ring. They must be super upset with the result of this match. It looks like it's a disqualification, perhaps a double disqualification. You can see Terry Funk going to his father. Dory Funk Sr. The hometown getting behind their boy Terry Funk here as Terry Funk raises his hand in victory. I believe this was called a double disqualification. We'll have to hear it from the ring announcer here to see what the decision is. Terry Funk calling for more action. I am sure the Butcher and Funk will see each other in the future again. As the referee, the referee. What's the official decision? Is that Tiger G Tiger Singh? Oh. Looks like we have some shenanigans here. Don't forget to join July 21st for the next All Japan show. Looks like we'll, we'll have these four competitors here squaring up. Is that Bobo Brazil? Sold footage makes it hard to see who is who. Is that Jimmy Jack Funk? You can see Terry Funk. Terry Funk in an epic classic. Oh, and Butcher. The Butcher's got that weapon again, and they're fighting. Even after the bell's gone, the officials are in the ring. Terry Funk absolutely hits him with another left hand straight to the forehead. Abdullah the Butcher retreats out the ring through the crowd. You can see the waves of people scattering through the crowd. The Japanese fans absolutely terrified of such a big madman from Sedan Abdullah the Butcher. As it looks like it is a double disqualification. This match will end with no winner, a no contest here on All Japan Pro Wrestling. As Terry Funk and Abdullah the Butcher fighting from pillar to post. There's Terry Funk coming back to the ring, sending out Abdullah the Butchers through the curtain, hightailing it out of here. Terry Funk calling for Abdullah to get back in the ring. I don't expect to see that happen. I expect to see Abdullah the Butcher. Crazy glue in his head shut somewhere in the backstage area right about now because Terry Funk opened him up as bad as Abdullah opened Terry up. And Terry's calling him back to the ring. Uh, be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. You just might get it. Terry Funk doing the crazy man gimmick. And the Japanese fans are absolutely loving it. Terry Funk, one of the first competitors in Japan to do this kind of style promo. The Japanese fans absolutely loved it. Not only could he do a technical style in this era, but he was also just turning into that hardcore style that he's patented over the next 30 years. Of course, Terry Funk winning the NWA World Heavyweight Championship in 1975. Former 
ECW champion. He's calling. He's, he wants trouble. You can see. It. It's going to be interesting to see what happens on the next show here. All Japan Pro Wrestling, July 15th, 1978. Terry Funk, Abdullah the Butcher. This is going to be the end of our show here. It's, it's Funk and the Butcher did not resolve their problems here tonight in Japan. Something tells me they won't be able to resolve them for quite a while. Nobody's the winner. You can hear D Dory Funk Sr. say, Nobody's the winner. No contest. You can hear the Japanese now say, No contest, no winner. It is what it is. Stabbed him in the chest, stabbed him in the ear. Absolutely brutal. Showing the photography, showing the fans. Is that Jim Brunzel? Uh, Billy Robinson? <coughs> you can hear Baba. That's a distinct giant Baba saying something and ruling, ruling about both the matchup. As you can see the fan. You can see the fans jumping up on the ring. As, uh, Kim Duke's brother there looks like. Terry Funk probably calling for Abdullah the Butcher to get suspended here in this instance. Not very likely that he does get suspended, however. It's not unprecedented here in this era for, for a competitor to be suspended. Of course, on July 28th, there is another All Japan show. Don't forget to tune in and check that one out. July 28th, 1978. That is two weeks from this episode, minus a day. Thanks for tuning in. It's Be Supreme. August 12th, there's another show. This one from August 12th. What do we got here? We got some bonus action here. Oh my goodness, Abdullah the Butcher getting his leg, bro. Oh, figure, spin and toe hold. That's Terry Funk. He got him in the spin and toe hold. We will have a winner after all. Bear hug by Abdullah. Funk fading. Looks like we got highlights of the match. Will Funk be able to hold on here? Both men busted open again. Perhaps this match continued. As you can see, Abdullah holding on that bear hug for all he has. Terry Funk trying to hold on, trying to survive the squeeze. Who will come out victorious? Will we have a winner once and for all? No. No, but anyways, thanks for tuning in. It's your boy, Be Supreme, on the Be Supreme screen. Until next time, snipe out. Thanks for tuning in, brother. <laughs>